Hi everyone, welcome to the latest red wine in my uh, favourite wine tasting box. This is probably the, the fifth wine you will come across and is the Tamaral Crianfa Ribera del Duero 2016. This has been a favourite of mine almost since the day we opened. It, I came from a place where I'd really fallen out of love with, with Spanish reds uh, and this in particular was the wine that, that really, um, really reinvigorated my love for Spanish wine. I think the balance of fruit and oak here is absolutely sublime and it was, uh, yeah, it's a wine I've, I've really, really enjoyed. Um, I've been pushing the bottles, I've been pushing the magnums and we even have a five litre bottle uh, in store which will make the perfect party barbecue wine for when we all get back together very soon. So uh, Ribera del Duero is a region that really has vied with Rioja over the last 20 to 30 years to be considered the sort of the very best region for wine growing in Spain. Um, Tintofino is the, the grape variety that is um, planted mostly in the Ribera del Duero. That is just a local name for Tempranillo. So what you get is you get deep, medium to full bodied, ruby red sort of coloured wines, loads of intensity of black fruit flavour on the nose. And then as you go up through the sort of the quality grades, you get different levels of oaking as well. The nose is really, really intense with some good red fruit, there's some strawberry, some raspberry. But there's lots of cherry as well, blackberry, and those sort of slightly darker black fruits. There's a hint of uh, something a little bit sweeter as well from the oak, but for me it's the, the, the deep, rich fruit flavour on the nose that really shines through. Really fills the mouth on the palate, really quite, quite sort of luscious and warming but the alcohol is really well integrated the tannins they're definitely there but they are they are so sort of well integrated so well balanced and um yeah all that fruit flavor comes through the oak comes through a little bit more on the palate i think mean, it's had 16 months in a combination of, of french and american oak barrels and so you get the nice toasty notes you get that sweet vanilla but it's a wine that's been made with with real real skill 18 pounds on the shelf i think in a world where you can pay sort of 15 to 30 pounds for lots of Riocas and lots of other wines, this, this really um, packs a hell of a punch for the price and uh, I absolutely love it. I hope you do too. Cheers.